Could a new drug actually help tinnitus? Today we're diving into the results of SPI-1005, a promising new drug that's completed a phase three research study. I'll break down what it means for you, whether it could actually help with tinnitus, and what this could mean for the future of tinnitus treatment. And I know what you might be thinking, a pill that helps tinnitus? Yeah, right. SPI-1005 is expected to be an oral pill that you would swallow. It's a capsule formulation of Epsilon, a small molecule drug designed to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the inner ear. The clinical trials have tested oral administration with 400 milligram doses taken twice daily for 28 days of a treatment period. If approved, SPI-1005 could be a prescription oral medication for conditions such as Meniere's disease, tinnitus, and sensory neural hearing loss. I get it, there's been a lot of hype around so-called cures over the years, but this one could be different, especially for people with Meniere symptoms. Stick with me, because today we're going to look at the science, the results from the research study, and whether this could be something real in our near future. I'm Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist at Treble Health, where we've helped over 2,000 tinnitus patients find significant relief through our treatment program. So let's get into it. First, we have to give credit where credit is due. SPI-1005 was developed by Sound Pharmaceuticals, led by Dr. Jonathan Kill, a researcher with an extensive background in neurootology. His team has spent years studying how oxidative stress affects the auditory system. This drug has been funded through a mix of private biotech investment, National Institutes of Health grants, and support from the Department of Defense. In fact, the US military has been particularly interested in SPI-1005 because of its potential to protect soldiers from noise-induced hearing loss. Now, what exactly is this drug, SPI-1005? Originally, the drug was developed to treat Meniere's disease, a disorder that affects the inner ear, causing vertigo, hearing loss, ear fullness, and tinnitus. The reason this research is so exciting is that many tinnitus sufferers also deal with inflammation and oxidative stress in the auditory system. SPI-1005 contains Epsilon, a synthetic antioxidant that helps reduce inflammation and oxidative damage, which are suspected to partially contribute to tinnitus. So, could it actually work and could it actually reduce tinnitus? Well, here's what we know so far. SPI-1005 recently completed its phase three clinical trial in 2024. It was conducted at multiple research institutions across the United States in a randomized placebo-controlled study, which means participants either received the drug or placebo pill to test how effective it really is. And here's the big news. The results showed significant improvements in vertigo, hearing, and tinnitus for patients with Meniere's disease. That's right, not just vertigo, but also tinnitus symptoms. This is huge because no medication has ever been FDA approved to specifically treat tinnitus. If SPI-1005 gets approval, it could be the first prescription drug designed to help tinnitus by targeting oxidative stress pathways in the inner ear. Now, before you start Googling how to get SPI-1005, let's talk about who this might help the most and if you're a candidate. So if you have Meniere's disease, SPI-1005 could be a game changer once it's available. If you have tinnitus without Meniere's, the jury is still out on whether this could help you. But the fact that some patients in the study saw tinnitus relief means this drug might help a broader audience with more research. And speaking of research, I wanna give a shout out to the scientists and doctors who have contributed to this breakthrough. Researchers at UC Irvine, Georgetown, University of Virginia, and the House Ear Institute have been instrumental in advancing our understanding of how oxidative stress affects the auditory system. The researchers' work has been published in The Lancet, PubMed, and Hearing Review, providing critical insights into how SPI-1005 works. So if you're wondering, okay, but what can I do right now to reduce oxidative stress? Here are a few science-backed tips. First, avoid smoking. Tobacco is loaded with free radicals. Second, limit excessive alcohol use. A glass of wine, that's fine, but too much alcohol can increase oxidative stress. Third, protect your ears from loud noise. If it's very loud, then use earplugs or hearing protection. Your future self will really thank you. So guys, if SPI 1005 continues to show success, Sound Pharmaceuticals 
plans to submit it for FDA approval, which means we might actually see a prescription drug on the market in the years ahead. I know that for many of you, tinnitus isn't just a small annoyance. It's exhausting, stressful, and you feel like you're barely hanging on. But there's hope. Research like this is happening right now, and we're closer than ever to finding better solutions. If you'd like to take my free tinnitus quiz, you can click the link on the screen right now. And if you're interested in learning more about some new Stanford research that could reverse hearing loss and tinnitus, check out my next video on the screen right here where I break down what you need to know. Thanks for watching. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson with Tribal Health, and I'll see you soon.